Gentlemen, today we're going to have a little fun. I'm going to go over 10 men's hairstyles that, in my opinion, my opinion, in my opinion, are f***ing horrible. Hairstyles that make you go... What? What? Who? Hairstyles that when you see, you just think, oh my god, I can't believe anyone in their right mind would do that, but they do. I need your help and I want you to vote on the hairstyle, one through ten that I go over, that you think is the absolute, hands down, worst hairstyle that any dude in the history of dudes could wear on his head. Your votes will be totaled and tallied and the winner, aka loser, will be announced in a follow-up video. Gentlemen, without any further ado, let's talk terrible do's. Please note, these hairstyles are in no specific order. They all suck. Number one hairstyle is the aging rocker. The aging rock star hairstyle is a little bit longer. Usually it's a little bit teased, a little spiky. Sometimes it's highlighted, but not to be confused with number two, which is the mullet. All right, now at first glance you think, oh, they're the same hairstyle, and they're not. Here's the subtle difference. The aging rock star has longer bangs usually come down, sometimes teased, spiked even. The mullet, however, from the front, looks like a perfectly respectable short hairstyle. It's when he turns around that you catch a glimpse of the flowing amazingness that is the mullet. The third terrible hairstyle is the coach cut. AKA the super short military flat top. The only time I've really ever seen a flat top and thought, wow, that looks amazing, is actually the Russian in Rocky Three. He had a flat top and it worked. But whenever a guy gets a super short flat top, you have the tendency to see scalp and head skin. No terrible hairstyle list would be complete without number four, the comb over. Fact, hair loss sucks, but the reality is that it will happen to some degree to the majority of men out there in the world. The worst thing you can do is to try and hide it or camouflage it by growing strategically long pieces, comb it over, comb it forward, swirl it on top like an ice cream cone. Now the fifth style I'm going to get some heat for, and it is the parted behind the ear tuck. The behind the ear tuck. And I get it. You're growing your hair out. You don't want it all in your face. What do you do? I would personally pull it back and tie it with a tie or something like that. I think that looks a whole hell of a lot better than parted down the center. Sixth horrible hairstyle is the blowout. Boom! Bang! And it get any worse than that? Quite possibly. Frost those tips and you've got number seven, the frosted spike. I'm all for playing around, throwing some highlights, lowlights, whatever, but just the combination of blowout, frosting, tips, blonde, terrible. I'm also going to get a little heat for number eight, which is white guy with dreadlocks. Before you get all pissed off, listen, there are some guys that I've seen with dreadlocks that are white dudes that look good, but generally speaking, every dude I've ever seen try and grow dreadlocks that is a white dude, it just makes you look super dirty and your hair is a matted mess of nastiness. Black dudes look incredible. Number nine, you knew it was coming, the Bieber. This haircut drives me absolutely insane. What? Huh? Every young kid I see that has this style, I just want to grab him, push his hair out of his head and say, stop shaking. Dude, you're so, you don't even get, what don't I get? Don't, what? Say it again. Stop it! And last but certainly not least, the tenth horrible hairstyle is anything long and greasy. Look, long hair on guys is already a... It's got to be right. It's got to be the right guy. It's got to be the right hair. But when it's greasy, it's 100% wrong. In my opinion, another one of my opinions is that Pete and Pedro is the best hair product on the market, period. End of story. Pete and Pedro, for those of you who don't know, is my hairstyling product company. We've got shampoos. We've got gels. We've got an incredible new pomade called the Power Pomade. It has no scent. It is nothing but hold and amazing. And if you guys are looking for an amazing shampoo and conditioner, the clean and condition from Pete and Pedro are right. Rock stars. The clean, peppermint, tingly, tea tree, incredible. And if you're like, yo, eight ounces just isn't enough, no problem. It now comes in 32. I personally am using the putty and have been, this is the best product in the history of hair products. High hold, low shine, amazing. I've got it in now. Notice that See? Still luscious, soft, touchable. Exactly. Gentlemen, if you want to check out anything that Pete and Pedro offers, there's a link down in the description along with a discount code to save you 20% off your entire order. Not just one thing, everything. I get, I get a little worked up talking about Pete and Pedro. I'm sorry.
<laughs> not sorry because it's amazing gentlemen you want to know what else will be amazing if you let me know down in the comments which one of these 10 terrible hairstyles is the worst in your opinion we'll tally we'll total we'll do another video and name the worst hairstyle of all time in the history of hairstyles this is cutting edge scientific research as scientific as we get here on Alpha M but I seriously would love to know and we'll do another video and if you are the proud owner of one of these hairstyles oh maron you look amazing seriously like <laughs> amazing